Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Zen from Zen World here, and I hope you're having a great day. So, there's been a lot of buzz for Leroy Smith, which is a character who's going to uh, premiere in Tekken pretty soon. Um, and he's estimated to be released around um, October to November time, right before the New Year starts in, um, at the end of December. So, um, pretty much he's... He uses Wing Chun, which is really interesting, and I released a video on him in terms of the trailer, and uh, let me tell you that um, I appreciate all the support for that video because it's over 100,000 views in that sense. Now, there's been a lot of rumors whether or not who who the character is, his background. So, for example, some people think that it's Eddie's grandfather, but we know that's not truly the case in terms of um, his grandfather um, because... It's a practice of a different style and different origin and placement. So let's get into the character and what we know about him from the wiki itself, right? So the story plays out that 50 years ago, a young boy was caught up in a large scale gang conflict in his hometown of New York City in the United States where he loses his family and his home. After missing, uh, missing for decades, Leroy returns to New York now as a seasoned master of martial arts, we know for Wing Chun, and he's out for revenge. Um, then we have another version of the story, which is version number two. About a half a century ago, 50 years, uh, New York was at the midst of a dark period where gangsters were rampant in tens of thousands. Bribes to police and political world were rampant. No one could stop these gangs. Tyranny and people who had fully um, been subservient to the gangs um, were pretty much losing out. As gangs expanded to their control in the city, um, they were instantly turned into a battlefield of hell, fueled with explosions, fire. Um, for a lot of you who don't know, the, um, in the last 50 years, it, this is a general good time frame where a lot of um, landlords were burning their houses and things of that nature in order to um, to gain insurance money. So there was a lot of burning, especially in the Bronx. So um, a lot of this story could be fueled from different errors, not errors, but just, um, just consequences of just... Um, gangs and corruption and a whole lot of drugs around that time so leaving America Le Leroy traveled around the world as a trader and in Hong Kong he en encountered a martial arts called Wing Chun. Um, Leroy fascinated by its one-on-one -on -one strategy of defense and neutralizing the opponent settled down in Hong Kong to learn the martial art and many months have passed half a century after so this is about 50 years later um, so to speak um, he went, so after a half a century later became known as the Big Apple War, New York incident, New York was still dominated by gangsters who survived, although their power has diminished, knowing this Leroy decides to return to New York to take revenge against the gangs and liberate the city. Fueled by his anger, Leroy single-handedly attacks and destroys them with uh, uh, the strength of a fierce demon. During this time, he learns from one of the gang leaders that the current um, Zaibatsu, Mashima, was behind the largest rivalry about a half a century ago. So this means that they were heavily part of everything that had happened to him and his family about a half a century ago, which is the 50 years time period. Um, so a couple things about this character that are pretty interesting. Um, if we just wanna get a little bit of tidbits, you know, he's American. Um, as we can see from his um, appearance, he's African American, his hair is white, um, he's, his occupation is a trader, and he's, his, al his ailment is good, right? So he's, we already know that he's a good character, but he's kind of, uh, he suffers from the kind of cliche of like getting revenge as a martial artist from like the old school um, movies and things of that nature, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it and I'm down for it, right? Um, he has dreads that are similar to Eddie. He wears gold jewelry. But if we were to analyze this character just a little bit more, we're going to see a couple of things that are not immediately um, known when you watch a trailer. So when you see his chain, his chain does have an embroidery on it. So it must mean that um, beyond the chain, the, the, the sign or the symbol on it has some kind of significant meaning, maybe a significant meaning towards the actual, his master. Well, we're not too sure about that. Um, the other part is that if you look on his right eye, his right eye seems to be um, totally um, white, as if that right eye is blind in itself, that it, he can't use his, his optic nerve in order to, to see from that eye. But the other eye seems to be fine, right? So um, a lot of people in the comment section had said that he 
um, may have been blind and I think this is only true for one eye but not for the two. Uh, one of the things that I want to do now that we know more about the character is um, just to get a quick understanding about Wing Chun itself. So just about the history. So I'm just going to give you a small snippet. So the history of Wing Chun is a system of martial arts that a lot of us know from southern China that was um, approximated to be created about 300 years ago. Its originator was a Buddhist nun, Ning Muyao, and was a Shaolin Kung was a master of Shaolin Kung Fu and used this knowledge to invent a way to take advantage of the weaknesses inherent to to one to one person um, through other Shaolin systems. So um, there's a lot of different rumors on how it was built. That it was a nun who actually created a Buddhist nun who created um, none of these stories are truly confirmed but this is the one that we know the most in terms of Wing Chun um, and one of the most prominent um, masters of Wing Chun is um, Ip Man and we know that from the the multitude of movies that's come out with starring Donnie Yen um, but a lot of people put two and two together with um, Leroy and also the last dragon right for Leroy Brown so I think all of these could be, in a sense, what's been used as a creative derivative to create this character. And I, you know, I definitely think he's a cool character. Um, I just hope, like some of the people in the comments um, said that, I hope that he's not a joke character because um, beyond um, a couple other characters, there's not that many African American characters. And I would, I would enjoy him a lot more if he wasn't posed as a joke. Eddie's a really great character. Um, and uh, I want to say Blade, but it's not Blade. Um, the Master of Ninja 2 in the game 2. Um, Raven. Raven is a really cool character too. So, I, you know, I'm enjoying how Tekken is using a diverse look at the character. But what I'm really enjoying the most out of his character is that he is in a... Uh, he's, he's seemingly brand new. Yes, he, he is using Wing Chun, but anyone could use Wing Chun. If we go in the history of New York, if you look at Queens... Brooklyn and um, yeah Queens and Brooklyn in particular um, they have a really heavy Wing Chun um, community um, around those parts right so you can research that too so there's a one that comes to mind is the Wing Chun Brotherhood um, where there's a plethora of different um, races who engage in uh, Wing Chun who come together um, in Central Park and just do a really great thing So check that out if you're living in New York area and you just want to learn Wing Chun um, One of the things that I'm going to do now before I end this video is um, I want to go through the The comment section in that last video and the reason why I want to go through it um, Is there's a lot of amazing comments and theories and also just funny things in general So let's go through a couple of them and get started. So, uh, one person's head looks like R. Kelly gets his his look like this looks like him when he gets released from prison. I I disagree, but I think it's really funny. Um, people were saying 50 years ago? Question mark. The people that killed your family probably been dead. Um, I at the time I did put a plot hole, but now I realize that yeah, it's not it's not really about the actual people. It's about the the gangs right the gangs in particular and how they're still rampant throughout new york city and still doing um things reminiscent and people are losing lives and uh, families are getting corrupted and in the community so that's one thing um bruce lee one inch punch yes um the power of the glow in reference to the last dragon and um just looking at some other comments this person said we finally got bruce leroy <laughs> in the game is that uh, Leroy from the, the Last Dragon, you got the glow, you're the Last Dragon. Um, some of the comments I'm not reading because it does have um, a little bit of profanity that I think it's um, unnecessary for lack of better words. Um, so let me see, grandfather of Eddie, so we know that's not truly a grandfather of Eddie, but I do understand the, re um, the resemblance that people are talking about in terms of the comment section. Um, uh, when does this character come out? I remember, and I said to this to this person, um, he's projected to release before the end of 2019. I'm estimating November or early December, since Zafina was released in September. Um, then the next person commented and said, um, that makes total sense. The character after him looks, um, looks of 
timeline seems to be planned for 2019 as well. So I'm thinking November, and I said, I wonder who will be the character after him. I'm loving the creation of brand new characters with new fighting styles. And then um, this person says, uh, the wiki seems to suggest that the Zaibatsu was the inheritor of a gang war, but where they got it from, I couldn't say. So yeah, th that's a couple of things that I was talking about. And uh, a lot of people are looking forward to this character, but they also are looking forward to... Um, the song, right? The song from the trailer. I'm not too sure, right? Um, this person say, wait a minute, is this character blind? So we know from the trailer, if we just look at the his character design, that he's not truly blind, but he may be in one eye. And, I, you know, at the end of the day, when we are given a full release, I may be to totally wrong about a lot of things when it comes to the um, actual um, intricate areas um, for the character itself, right? So this person says, for those who know, his appearance resembles more like Donnie Yen's martial arts brother and co-star Michael Woods, who has given Donnie some of the best fights in movies throughout the years. Just check out Line of Duty um, number four, Tiger Cage number two, and Crystal Hunt. Um, that, you know, that's pretty good. A lot of people were also saying that he has some kind of lineage to Wang Jire. Um, I don't think so. I think I, and if they do, right? I, if they do, I don't think it's in terms of like training each other. Maybe it's just in terms of introduction to a possible master, and they may know each other as fellow, um, fellow masters, and that's about it, right? But I do think Leroy is pretty old if we're talking about Dick, um, half a century at a time. Um, so there's no telling how old he is. But yeah, I mean, that's it for this video. I'm going to end it off right here. Leroy seems like a great character. I'm looking forward to his inclusion, his design, everything like that. And I hope you, and I could tell from that, that one Tekken video that I have, which has over 100,000 um, views, that a lot of people are interested in his character. And, and, some of, and some of the people who are looking forward to the character are similar to me that, you know, um, we're looking for a character who represents us and it doesn't have to be so much, uh, even though he has chains, gold chains and things like that, he, um, he seems to be a very disciplined character that um, promotes martial arts in the way that I remember growing up, right? When you look at all these old school movies and and things of that nature so if you're enjoying if you enjoyed this video give me a like comment subscribe share the video to on facebook or anything like that and um yeah let's talk about him until he re is released everyone um i'll catch you all later take care